Displacement versus time. Kinematics equation one allows us to determine the velocity of an object undergoing constant acceleration at any given time. We will now develop equations to determine the displacement of an object undergoing constant acceleration at any given time. This approach will depend on two different but consistent ways of determining average velocity. We've already learned that average velocity, or v bar, is given by delta x over delta t. That tells us that the average velocity of an object over an elapsed time delta t is given by its displacement delta x divided by delta t. This is always true. Even though this course is limited to cases of constant acceleration, this equation is true even if acceleration is not constant. To find the displacement of an object traveling at that average velocity over a given time, we can solve the equation for delta x. All right? Multiply through by delta t on both sides, and that's what we have here. We have v delta t equals delta x, and then just switch that around. So we have delta x is average velocity times delta t. In words, the displacement of an object is just its average velocity times the amount of time it has traveled at that velocity. Using this equation, however, requires we have to first find the average velocity if it's not given to us. We can find the average velocity of an object very simply, as long as it's moving at a constant acceleration, which will happen in this course, by just averaging its initial and final velocities. That's the same way you would find the average of any two numbers. So average velocity is v plus v0 over 2. And that will work in this course, since we will not address cases of changing acceleration. However, this will not work in some calculus-based physics problems where you do have changing acceleration. Our equation now states that the average velocity of an object over an elapsed time delta t is the sum of its initial velocity v0 and final velocity divided by 2. Notice, delta t is not in the equation. You can solve a wide variety of problems with these two equations. First, you can find the average velocity of an object with this one. Then you can find its displacement, or its change in position, by using this equation. One more step. These two equations can be combined to skip the middle step of determining the average velocity before determining the displacement over time. Just set them equal to each other, right? They both equal the average velocity. Solve for delta x, and finally, Assume that t0 is equal to 0. That's a pretty typical assumption. We start the clock at time equals 0. That means delta t will equal t. So here we bring this one down here, delta x over t. And here's v plus v0 over 2. Set them equal to each other. First thing, multiply both sides by delta t. That clears the delta t on the left side. And then we replace delta t with just t. So here's our final working equation here. An object constantly accelerates from rest to 5 meters per second in 8 seconds. What was its average velocity? How far did it travel? As always, we list our givens. And again, rest means your initial velocity is 0. And then here's our final velocity. Here's our time. So we'll use the two equations. We won't put them together just yet. Our average velocity is v plus v0 over 2. So that's 5 plus 0 divided by 2, and we get an average velocity of 2.5 meters per second. Then we use our second equation, and we plug in 2.5 meters per second for the average velocity, multiply it by the time, which is 8 seconds, and then we get 20 meters for our travel, or our displacement, or our change in position, all the same thing. An object accelerates from rest to a velocity of 18 meters per second. How far will it have moved after 9 seconds? We start with our givens, and again we started at rest, so that's code for v0 is 0 meters per second. We use our displacement equation right here. So here's our final velocity, here's our initial. Divide that by 2, multiply it by the elapsed time, and we get 81 meters. An object accelerates from rest. After accelerating for 12 seconds, it has traveled 240 meters. What is its velocity at that time? An object accelerates from rest. After accelerating for 12 seconds, it has traveled 240 meters. What is its velocity at that time? So we'll be using the displacement equation. And 
the first thing you do, we always say solve it algebraically. The one exception to that is if there are any terms that are equal to zero, get rid of them right away. So we do that and we have delta, delta x is v over 2 times t. Now we want to solve for v. Multiply both sides by 2 and then divide through by t and then flip left to right. So we have v is 2 delta x over t. Finally, we can substitute in the givens right at the very end and we get 40 meters per second.